Thank you all so much for coming back. We're going to be doing some winter squash. And these are more fashioned off of those um, marble fruits. First, I'm going to form a ball. And I actually start with a ball for all of the items that we're going to do. So I roll a ball in my hands. I twist with my left hand, index and thumb, and then I press gently with my thumb and my index on the other side. So there's my pumpkin shape. I take the back of my paintbrush, make a little indent on the bottom, little indent on the top. I take my double pointed knitting needle. You could always use a toothpick. And here we go. I'm going to do thirds. So this has six segments, and you could do this with the pumpkins as well. And I do like to poke a little hole in the middle. The second shape I'm going to be making two of, and this is almost more like a turnip shape. This is really mimicking acorn squash, and that's the basic shape. Let's make that indent in the top, like we do with our pumpkins. I rock down on the sides. And I also like to do these in thirds too. I find that it's not too busy when I do them in thirds. If you think that the line isn't going down quite far enough for your taste, you can just take your needle and walk it down a little bit more. Now we're going to go ahead and start with um, croconet squash. And basically for that, I start elongating the top, make it nice and long, and then I start rolling slowly, and then I bend it. It's a little crook neck squash, and for here, I place the little stem hole right in the top. Okay guys, so from here you see my little pastel dust piles. I need a little bit more of the yellow ochre. For the pumpkin, actually start at the top. And I color two sides with the pumpkin. But I like to leave a little bit just plain white. I take a little bit of the yellow and a little bit of the rust. and I paint it on the one side. And that extends to just about halfway down the side of the pumpkin. And then I get yellow with a little bit of the rust for the bottom. I'm going to take a little bit of the bright green and I'm going to paint it along the side. I find this adds a lot of pretty color. I take a little bit of the darker green and I add the darker green, just a touch of it. So there we go. And now here, we're going to add that purple. And I start painting over the whole top. And some of the color that you've already added is going to show through. And you're wanting to bring some of that purple down over the green. There's a little bit of green, there's a little bit of purple. So once you add glaze, it really deepens the color. The glaze is added after it bakes. I'm going to go to the crook neck. A lot of the yellow dust. Make it lighter and darker in different areas. I would add some of the paler green color. Just a couple little areas here. I take a little bit of the yellow, a little bit of the rust to make it a little darker in some areas. That will look like this. We're going to add yellow along the whole entire top here. I'm going to use the dark green and paint it on the bottom. 
from here I take green and I touch a tiny bit of the purple with it. I want some purple, but I want it to be really the majority green. And the purple will darken it, the tip of a narrow brush, into some water. And I'm going to touch the rust color with a little bit of the yellow color. And I'm going to walk it down the inside creases. And after it's baked, this is what the colors look like. So I'm going to touch it in the yellow, the one I tend to like to use first. And I bring the yellow down on one side. And then I go on the opposite side just a little bit. And I will grab a tiny bit of the rust and add just a little bit. I take some of that, both of the shades of green, some of the dark green, some of the light green, and then I bring quite a bit of it down into the middle. I'm going to add the purple. For this one, I like the darkest purple. We're bringing some of that purple down. So you want to add it gently so you have that overcoating but some green shines through. So it looks more like the sun has kissed the fruit as it was ripening. So there we go. There are our winter squashes.